Hello YouTube. This is my first time doing a video on reloading a rifle cartridge and this rifle cartridge that I'm reloading um, was for a M1 Garand uh, chambered in 30-06. So when I first reloaded it I consulted the, uh, the Lee handbook which is the uh, modern reloading book and the overall case length for it shows a 3.34 inches so when I went to the range yesterday I discovered that um, it was a little slightly longer than I wanted to when I put into the uh, clip as I loaded the Garand it basically um, would not feed properly so I compared a um, a factory uh, 150 grain 30 odd six and it was much shorter than what I uh, seeded the bullet for so I decided to use my um, RCBS uh, bullet puller this one here and basically uh, I can use it on my uh, Lee Classic turret press and use it to um, remove the bullet instead of using the uh, the uh, kinetic uh, bullet pullers which I'm not really that um, um, com comfortable with so I just want to show you how it works and uh, probably a little trick that I can show you so you don't have to um, drop the uh, projectile when you uh, loosen the uh, collet so for example here's a um, 30 out 6 that I'm trying to uh, redo for trying to do a reload because it's uh, first of all I loaded with 50 grains and I think I'm loading a little too too much so I'm going to lower it down to 48 grains of IMR 4064 so with this bullet puller what you need to do what it, uh, first of all what you notice is that there's no other dies in this uh, turret, four hole turret that I have for this Lee Classic press because what I found out was that if you have the other dies here you cannot turn this um, this uh, this handle to tighten the collet so what I had to do was purchase a separate four hole turret and just have this dedicated as a uh, bullet puller so basically you just follow the guide instructions on how to properly uh, install this bullet, bullet puller onto Lee Classic Press and I'm just going to show you how to uh, how this this gizmo works so first of all I'm going to position the uh, camera a little bit better so what you have to do is raise the ram a little bit move that handle out of the way slide in the um, the round that you want to remove the bullet from right and loosen the collet a little bit and raise the ram until it stops you feel it so hold the ram a little a little, a little snug and turn the collet until it's just a little tight and you will notice I'm putting my uh, forearm onto the uh, handle of the press so give it a little bit of pressure you will notice that the cartridge will, will also uh, turn so just enough you don't have to tighten too much and once it's done hopefully this works you push the ram in and the bullet will the projectile will be uh, will be held by the collet oh, oh that got that wrong let me try it again so raise the uh, I didn't loosen enough earlier so raise the uh, 30 odd 6 right into the uh, collet Just turn it and push the ram down there you go and the projectile is gone right and whatever you need to do you just pour it back into your appropriate powdered container 
empty cartridge we still with the primer in there and one trick I like to show you on how to remove the collet is that you put your hand underneath where the projectile will be and just put your thumb onto this um, threaded or this um, we call it textured part of the uh, bullet puller die and just turn the knob and the bullet will come down initially what I did was I just turned it held it and turned it and the bullet just dropped I don't want to uh, damage any the tip of the uh, projectile in case you're wondering this projectile is a Campro 147 grain full metal jacket bolt tail so hopefully this helps anybody's watching on uh, on how to use this uh, 30 out 6 bullet puller call it properly thank you have a good day one thing I forgot to uh, mention in my prior video about this uh, RCBS bullet puller die is that it actually the die itself is just a die when you when you purchase it it requires separate collet for each caliber this one is for a 22 caliber this one is for a three fifty seven caliber and this one is for a forty five caliber and the one that's currently installed in this die is a thirty caliber die so this die is comes in three pieces so the first piece see there's three pieces the the handle the die and the collet right so when it when you get it from when you purchase it from the factory it just comes with the the die body and the handle that's it and of course the, the threading lock so for you to to install it after you've done all your your measurement on how to install this properly onto the press you have to insert this collet on the, the underneath the, on the bottom push it in and then you just have to have to turn the handle until it's snug and that's it it's pretty much straightforward and simple hope you enjoyed this video thank you